Wow, man. Talk about getting your mutant buzz on. Coming to you high atop Indica Springs, Colorado, and I mean high. <laughs> and no authority field home of the Mile High Chronic. Just bought some of those brownies at the Get Baked sale. Man, these guys can bake up here. I can hear colors, Grim. Hey, Grim, order me one of them corned beef and hash oil sandwiches. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Carcass City Creeps take on the Mile High Chronic. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones, Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini-me on my shoulder. Bricks Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. He broke for no doubt about it. That guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Here comes the defense. He could go all the... And yeah, never mind. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot five. Second down in a lot. Hot, hot one, hot. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Oh, it's a player's favorite. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. First down and one. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. Oh, I can't believe it ain't the whole thing. Drop, drop, fizz, fizz. Someone give that guy some Balka 
Schmelzer. And it's first and ten. And that's how you stop an offense. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And it's first and ten. What is this, Andy's wrestling? Second down in a very lot. He refuses to go and picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. QB says, I don't know almost throw intercept. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> and he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Oh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear you're drunk. I'm not God, but seriously, stay in drugs. Eat school and don't do that. And the defense gets the quarterback for a sack. Hey, man, nobody can touch me with eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Third down and, well, good luck. away one time when i was playing a guy hit me so hard i went into a dark tunnel thought i saw my grandparents waving at me in the light turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face and he booted a high arcing rainbow and he just lets that one go he says no thank you and the defense downs it And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Yeah. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. First and ten. That's a six yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First and that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outcrim. And it's first and ten. It's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't.
Vince here. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Ghost of Second down in a mile. Hot, hot one, hot two. Oh, he's gone berserk. The ball carrier better watch out because it'll be called out about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. My parole officer calls. I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Hot one, hot two, hot two. Yeah, I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this. Oh, with the punishing hit. The teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. Now the defense called a time warp dirty trick, negating that play completely. The offense is pissed. Well, I wish I had that trick in the oven it with me earlier. I let one rip. I made a really good one, Grim. And then the doors open and the team's cheerleaders get on. <laughs> That's when small talk is really put to the test. Third down in. The punter is warming up. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Seriously, man, you think you'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he's got a chance for a good one. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and 10. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be OK. Second down and seven. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Third down and six. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick, and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move them back night. The return man catches, and he punched his way out of that tackle. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right?
Second down and two. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to flop it, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned... Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome! I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And that'll bring up second and one. Ah, another interception. Please, you give the... Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. That ball just flies through the defense like butter. I wish defense... Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. Second down and ten. Take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Third down and, well, good luck. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You're paying for the pick six. For this, you just give them a pat on the head and tell them they don't suck. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's... Oh, man. He just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. That pass was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. Second down and ten. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when 
that Brix's mom decided to move back in with us. Two minutes left in the half. Third and two. It's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult it. And they stopped the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Ah, oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point in the game. I won't listen to this blast for me. And another interception. This quarter. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Six yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in. They stop the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Oh, uh, come on. That was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? And it's first and ten. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. That pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them time out to stop our own clock you know Grim? true words never spoken my friend and that'll make the highlight reel for what not to do on fourth down huh i didn't know that was a penalty yeah these rule changes are ruining the game Grim. Time to speak. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho. Crowd's loving it. <laughs> the offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex girlfriend. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Second down and five. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. point but this guy could blow it the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies when you get knocked down you got to get right back up and fight and what about when you get knocked up what do you do then run
First and ten. hit that was and that's how you make a guy remember your name and that's the end of the second quarter someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers stay with us for the halftime show brought to you by our friends at monsatan industries we make genetically altered franken food you'll have fun trying to identify welcome back hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is lukewarm. And he's Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. Like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. Third down and five. And he's off to the races. And it's first and ten. You know this berserk dirty trick ain't fair to the QB. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Yeah, man, I was hanging on the now. You know what <laughs> It's first and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Third down and three. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Fields. And now they can taste sound, but Cameron, if there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I'm stopping it right there. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. Oh, that was a hit. You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? I'll take the salad, Steve. Wait, where am I? First and ten. And the back gets.
Jones in there and swats the ball away. He can't. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. Yeah. And it's first and ten. for one when you could go for two. It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Great run for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. That's a six-yard gain on that catch. And that'll be second down and four. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room it goes right through yeah like a double stuffed burrito from taco hell when you give up points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay First and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. You can't keep... Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. First and ten. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. Defense. 
It's not too often a court. A man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. First down and five. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's all those power to bring like a haiku. And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grin. Yeah, I'm thinking it yours. This guy, and the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Hey, Grim, what a minute. The ball's turned over, and the defense has it. He's rumbling toward the end zone to score a cluster. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? He's at the 40. He's at the 30. No touchdown today. Looks like that defender ate his bleedies this morning. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. <laughs> Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. <laughs> And it's first and ten. He is fighting for every yard. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. First and four. And he gets three yards on that run. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And that'll bring up third and one. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten.
out for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. And it's first and ten. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. First down and one. And the quarterback throws another pick. He, oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. First down and one. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First down and one. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Shake your money, make a big man. You earned it. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And he breaks away. He's not going down. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I... The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on a bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Pow! With the brain scrambler. never happened because the defense called a time warp dirty trick and transport their offense back in time. It's just a jump to the left. And a step to the right. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. That pass play was good for three yards. And that'll bring up third down and seven. You've got to catch that. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Oh, no good. 
Well, that punter's going to find it. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't almost throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when the game is on the line. Man, what a hit that was. And the ref is picking up a wad of singles as he runs off the field. How do you think he got those, Grim? Didn't you see him stripping on the sidelines? He's bribed, you idiot. In a hurry, defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> the quarterback goes into a hurry up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? No, oh, no, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend, I didn't. I love this job. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand it. A rough goal's a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. Yo, guys, suck. Now, the offense seems to think the defense had too much time on their hands, so they took some of it back with a time warp dirty trick. That last play was completely erased from time. You know, I, I use that kind of power to, like, unnuke the world. But then, sure, getting rid of a play works, too. Oh, my God, a man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, great throw. Great catch. And that puts six points on the board. The defense can do anything to stop a throw that good, Grim. You mean aside from driving the ref and killing the quarterback or actually playing some D? Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more reception. He refuses to go. It's a touchdown! And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it 
First and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interception. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, I'm still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. <laughs> His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's in, and then it's a first down from a great catch. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. The defense calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> and he's off to the races. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row, because that was splattering everywhere. Second down and ten. He is fun. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. The quarterback burns his last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. And that'll bring up third and one. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? No, oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick shit house. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I... The Chronic is defeated today.
They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitro with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.